When talking to applicants and tenants online, understanding how to present yourself professionally through text is vital. To further progress your relationship with your tenants and lure in new applicants, these tips can help you understand that line between personal and professional within text messages. Don't use shortcuts for your text. Ultimately, you want your tenants and applicants to understand what you're saying, especially if it has to do with rental requirements or the lease. While using acronyms like THX for thanks or PLS for please is convenient, there's potential for miscommunication. Use full sentences with proper grammar when texting applicants and tenants alike. If you have a lot to text, then ask them if they would be available to talk on the phone, where you can fully explain in a few minutes. How should you use emojicons? Generally, using emojis, like smiley faces, is frowned upon in the professional world. They are typically reserved for conversations with someone you're on a closer terms with. When you're texting your applicants whether or not you have a close relationship with your future tenants, it's better to establish a professional boundary from the get-go. Be sure to come across as extra polite. To balance out the lack of tone text messaging has, make sure your writing comes across as polite in all your text messages. Although most tenants won't take offense when you text them about scheduling maintenance work, using please and thank you is always a good policy. When it comes to understanding how professional your text messages should be, it's up to you to set your boundaries. But if you want some help, click the link below to learn a few more tips.